Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss about buckles relay in transformers. So, let us initially understand the meaning of relay. So, basically, the relays are protective switches used to control the high power circuit from a low power circuit. So, using a low power circuit, you are going to control the high power circuit. So, for smaller applications, relays themselves act as protective switches to isolate the faulty portion from the rest of the healthy power system. But for higher power applications, relays can be called as protective devices or sensing devices which senses the fault in the power system or which senses any imbalance in the power system or which senses any abnormal condition in the power system and thereby triggers the circuit breaker to trip the faulty portion from rest of the healthy power system. So this is what is basically relay. So relays can be electromagnetic relay or solid state relays or read relays or thermal relays or hybrid relays. So now your Buckles relay is a type of oil and gas actuated. It is a type of oil and gas actuated protective relay which is universally employed on all oil emus transformers having rating more than 0.5 MVA. Now your Buckles relay is not provided in transformers which are having rating below this 0.5 MVA because of considering certain economical factors. So in Keeping in mind the economical considerations, we are not providing the buckles relay for the transformers having rating below 0.5 MVA. Now, the below 0.5 MVA or you can say the small size and distribution transformers or you can say the small size distribution transformers, we are using only high voltage fuses, high voltage fuses as productive devices. So, only high voltage fuses can be used for small size distribution transformers as the predicted devices. Now for large rated and imported distribution transformers, we are using overcurrent protection relays, overcurrent protection relays along with restricted earth fault protection. So overcurrent protection relays along with restricted earth, earth fault protection we are using these for the large rated and important distribution transformers as predictive devices. Now, for transformers with rating more than 5 MVA, differential protection can be used. Differential protection can be used for transformers having rating more than 5 MVA. So, less than 0.5 MVA or small size distribution transformers, high voltage fuses can be used as protective devices and for large return distribution, important distribution transformers, overcurrent protection along with restricted edge fault protection can be used. Now for higher uh, rated that is more than above, more than 5 MVA, differential protection can be used in transformers. Now, the buckles relay is an oil container which is housing the connecting pipe. So let me say this is your connecting pipe from the main tank to conservator tank. So it is basically housing the connecting pipe. So this is your buckles relay. It is housing the main tank. This is your main tank. This is your conservator tank. So this is housing the connecting pipe from the main tank to the conservator tank. So here this is basically your transformer, this is your transformer and uh, here you are having this is the oil, transformer insulating oil, this is uh, from here the top from uh, on the transformer you are having a connecting pipe and this buckle cell is housing the connecting pipe from main tank to conservator tank. So this is the oil you are having here and this is air and from here you are having breather pipe, this is your breather pipe and this is your breather. So whenever the transformer is overloaded, 
the transformer insulating oil gets expanded and uh, in order to provide adequate space the conservative uh, in order to provide adequate space to that expanded oil when the transformer is overloaded this conservator tank is useful so whenever there is an expansion in oil it gets accumulated here in this space now when the transformer runs in normal condition again so again the oil level falls here and thereby the air increases so the air increases from the atmosphere so from the atmosphere the air gets accumulated in the conservator tank and this breather which is a silica gel breather what it does is it filters the air filters the air from moisture it filters the air from moisture because the moisture is dangerous for the transformer insulating oil as it degrades the dielectric strength of the insulating oil so conservator tank is used to provide adequate space to the expanded oil and the breather is used to filter the air from the moisture so this is basically how the overall conjunction looks in a transformer where is the buckle seal where is the conservator tank and where is the breather so if anyone asks you what is the use of this conservator tank you can say whenever the transformer is overloaded it is uh, it is providing adequate space to the expanded oil now breather pipe is used to uh, what it does is it filters the air from moisture so basically whenever the temperature of the insulating oil increases this oil expands so this oil expands and whenever the operation is normal again this oil level falls down and air gets accumulated in that space so this is uh, what is uh, the this is what basically the conservator tank and the breather and the uh, connection diagram from the main tank to conservator tank to the breather now discussing about the construction of this buckle relay the buckle relay mainly consists of two elements so it mainly consists of two elements so one is the upper element one is the upper element and second one is the lower element so here you can see that this is your upper element and this is your lower element here uh, you are having the main tank inlet from, inlet to the buckle relay from the main tank and this is to the conservator tank so the upper part consists of a float the upper part consists of a float the float is attached to hinge the float is attached to hinge in a such a way that it can move up and down depending on the oil level so this is basically what is your oil so this is your oil level oil level so depending on the position of oil the float can move up and down and one mercury switch is fixed on your float one says that the alignment of the mercury switch depends on the position of the float now if the float goes down then the alignment of the mercury switch also changes as it is fixed on that float so the electrical leads are taken from this mercury switch through molded terminal block to alarm circuit so here you are having alarm circuit now the lower element coming to the lower element the lower element consists of a baffle plate so this is your baffle plate and here is your mercury switch so your baffle plate uh, nothing but it looks like a shower which is having a holes so in a shower you are having certain holes like this so it is nothing but uh, uh, it not it is nothing but it looks like a shower and uh, here is your mercury switch mercury switch the baffle plate is fitted on a hinge so here you can see the hinge it is fitted on a hinge in such a way whenever the oil from the main tank so here you are having the inlet from the main tank so whenever the uh, it is placed in front of the inlet of inlet from the main tank in such a way that whenever the oil 
velocity from this main tank increases it strikes the battle plate and thereby the alignment of the battle plate on this mercury switch changes and the electrical leads from this mercury switch are taken out from the molded terminal block so it is basically taken out to trip circuit trip circuit of the circuit breaker now apart from these two main elements i am also having the gas release pockets on the top the gas release pocket on the top where we can where we can collect the accumulated gas and can sense the severity and the nature of the fault by analyzing the uh, gas collected from these gas release pockets now coming to the principle of this buckles ray the buckles ray principle is very simple it is it, uh, the operation depends on mechanical phenomena so we can we shall see what is the mechanical phenomena happening and uh, how it is mechanically actuated so whenever there are minor internal faults so whenever there will be minor internal faults which include the insulation faults between turns breakdown of core or core heating what happens is so whenever there is minor internal faults the transformer insulating oil gets decomposed into hydrocarbon gases like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide now these generated gases gets accumulated over the upper part of your relay and this displaces the equivalent oil to the conservator tank now due to the temperature difference of the accumulated gases and this oil level the oil level gets displaced to the conservator tank and now the falling oil level means lowering the position of this float now lowering the position of float what happens is the mercury switch gets tilted now when the mercury switch gets tilted the contacts of this mercury switch are closed and thereby it energizes the alarm circuit now sometimes oil leakage oil leakage on the main tank oil leakage on your main tank so here is your main tank oil leakage on main tank In, uh, what what happens is whenever there is some oil leakage on this main tank you will witness the air bubbles get accumulated on the upper part of this relay and again the there will be a falling oil level which lowers the position of float and the mercury switch contacts are closed and the alarm circuit is energized so during the minor internal faults this lower element remains unaffected because the oil velocity is not high enough to change the position of this barrel plate and mercury switch so whenever there is some minor internal faults like insulation faults between turns breakdown of core or core heating or oil leakage on the main tank we can come to know through this alarm circuit now the nature and the severity of the fault can be known by collecting the accumulated gas from this gas release pockets so the nature of the fault can be known by the amount of gas collected and the severity of the fault can be known by its color so by without dismantling the transformer we can know the nature and the severity of the fault occur in the transformer now during more severe faults during more severe faults like the short circuit between phases between phases or to earth or faults in the tap changing equipment where you will witness a high surge in the oil that is high surge in the oil from the main tank which strikes the baffle plate and changes the position of this baffle plate and mercury switch and the mercury switch contacts are closed and this energizes the trip circuit of the circuit breaker associated with the transformer and immediately isolates the faulty transformer by intertripping the 
circuit breakers associated with both LV and HV sides of the transformer from the rest of the electrical power system. So this is basically the operation principle of the relay. Now certain precautions has to be taken during the operation of the relay because sometimes the Buckles relay operation may get falsely actuated without any fault. So it may be actuated if the, uh, without any fault occurring in the transformer. So therefore precautions has to be taken during the functioning of this relay. So when oil is added to the transformer, when oil is added to the transformer, the air may get along with the oil. The air may, the air may get in along with the oil and the air which got along with the oil gets accumulated over the upper part of the relay and uh, whatever the air get accumulated it displaces the equivalent oil level and uh, thereby you can witness the fall in oil level means lowering the position of flow thereby you are going to tilt the mercury switch and the arms uh, the contacts of the mercury switch are get closed and the alarm circuit is energized. So this is a false operation taking place when air may get along with the oil while topping of the transformer. So in order to prevent such phenomena, mechanical locking is provided in such relays. Mechanical locking is provided in such relays to prevent the or to lock the movement of this mercury switches while topping of the oil in the transformer. So lock, to lock the movement lock the movement of the mercury switches while topping of the transformer mechanical locks are provided and these mechanical locks are also helpful to prevent the unnecessary movement of breakable breakable glass bulb breakable glass bulb cover of mercury switches during transportation of relays so mechanical Lock does two jobs here. They lock the movement of mercury switches uh, during the topping of oil and they also prevent the unnecessary movement of breakable glass bulb of mercury switches during the transportation of relays. Now the lower element may also falsely operate it whenever there is a uh, high velocity in oil which is striking the baffle plate though there is uh, no severe falls occurring in the transformer. This may occur in the event of external short circuit. So in the event of external short circuit, overcurrent flows which causes overheating in the copper and the oil to expand. Now if the expansion of oil strikes the baffle plate with high velocity such that it changes the alignment of the mercury switch and if the contacts of the mercury switch are closed, it energizes the trip circuit also of the circuit breaker associated with the transformer, thereby isolating the transformer from rest of the healthy power system. So this causes the false buckle operation in such a way due to external short circuit. So precaution has to be taken for this false operation occurring in the transformer. Now coming to the advantages. So one can able to know the falls occurring between interterms or you can say the short circuit between terms and uh, the core heating and the breakdown of core and uh, these minor internal falls helps us in the avoidance of more severe falls. So by knowing the minor internal falls one can uh, get alarm from this alarm circuit and can take precautions to avoid the severe falls. So avoidance of severe falls one advantage is and the other advantage is the nature and the severity of the falls can be known by collecting the accumulated gas from this gas release pockets. So by analyzing the gas collected from this gas release pockets we can sense uh, we can come to know the nature and the severity of falls without dismantling this whole transformer. So without dismantling my transformer I can able to know what is the nature of the fault and what is the severity of the fault. So nature and severity of fault can be known without dismantling the transformer. 
Now coming to the limitation, so the buckles relay operation takes place only below this oil level. So it doesn't tell if any fault occur above oil level. So above oil level we are not able to know if any fault has occurred and the buckles relay tells the fault occurred below oil level only. The other limitation is the relay is very slow and has a operating speed of uh, it has a operating speed of 0.1 second and with an average operating speed of 0.2 second. So this is all about the construction details uh, and uh, the position of the buckles relay on the transformer and uh, the operation principle of this relay and the advantages and the limitations and the precautions to be taken during the operation of this relay. So I hope you understood well. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.